To diagnose an anterior rotated and dominant, you would have a positive standing flexion test on the right hand side, the PSIS would be elevated on the right hand side, and the ASIS would be inferior on the right hand side, making a anteriorly rotated and dominant on the right hand side. Now we will do a or treatment of this diagnosis. If your patient is ticklish, you can have them place their hands on their sides to eliminate that tickle sensation. You will monitor your patient at the ASIS with your thumb. You will bring the thigh up into flexion until, until you meet the barrier of the muscle at the monitoring finger at the ASIS. Then you will ask your patient to meet your force as they extend or push their leg down. Go ahead and push into my hand. You will hold this for three to five seconds, then ask them to relax. You will relax for one to two seconds, and then go to the next barrier. You will repeat this three to five times. Go ahead and push again. One, two, three. Relax, one, two. Meet the next barrier. Go ahead and push into my hand. One, two, three, relax, one, two, and then go to the next barrier. Then you can do a passive stretch. So you will go ahead and push them a little further into flexion and then bring them back down. Then you will check for effectiveness by re looking at your ASIS and looking to see if they are level. You would then ask the patient to stand up compare the PSIS, and repeat your standard flexion test. The findings for a posteriorly and not rotated and nominant would be a standing flexion test that is positive on the right-hand side, a PSIS that is inferior on the right-hand side, and the ASIS superior on the right-hand side. So we have a right posteriorly rotated and nominant. You're going to have your patient with their right side close to the edge of the table because eventually this right leg is going to come off. And in order to make them feel more secure, we take your left hand and put it on their left ASIS to hold them. We're going to take this right leg and slide it off the table. And you make sure that the whole leg is off the table so that the table isn't the barrier. Their limitation is the barrier. And I'm going to place my body here just to make sure she feels like she's not going to fall. Okay? And now push up into my hand. One, two, three. Relax. New barrier. Push up again. One, two, three. Relax. New barrier. And push up into my hand again. Three, relax. Passive stretch. And you help their leg back up onto the table. If during your screenings you find that all of your landmarks are shifted upwards on the positive side, you're really just going to pull them back down, okay? So we're going to be working above the ankle. We will abduct the leg about 15 degrees, internally rotate the leg, and that locks out the hip joint, okay? We're going to be using breath assist and muscle energy. So when they breathe in, go ahead and breathe in, that diaphragm actually helps them pull that leg down. Breathe out, breathe out. Now pull up your leg. One, two, three, relax. Okay, one, two. And I'm pulling back down. Take a deep breath for me. And you'll feel it give a little more. Out. And now pull up your leg. One, two, three. Relax. One, two. Good, nice deep breath. Pull out that leg for me. One, two, three. Relax. One, two. Little tug. Okay. Gonna derotate and place the leg back on the table. <laughs> Make sure that you recheck for effectiveness, and then reperform your screen. If during your screening you find that all of your landmarks are lower on the positive side, so we have a right down shear of the anomalous. There are more invasive ways, shall we say, of correcting that. But rather than putting your hand in a place that may make your patient feel uncomfortable, you can actually treat the opposite side as though it were an up shear, and it seems to be just as effective. Okay? So we're going to work above the ankle. We're going to pick up the leg and abduct about 15 degrees. 
We're going to internally rotate so that we're locking out that joint and we don't do any damage. Okay. So I'm going to have you take a deep breath in. And as she breathes in, her diaphragm is going to pull down. And I'm going to pull the leg down. Okay, and breathe out. And pull up on your leg. One, two, three, relax. A little bit more. Breath in. And work with that. Okay, and out. Pull up your leg. One, two, three, relax. One, two. Deep breath in. And you'll feel that leg gives a little more. Out. Pull up your leg. One, two, three, relax. One, two, little tug. Okay. Place their leg back down. Always recheck for effectiveness and then re-perform your screen.